dear students welcome to this video lecture on mathematical modeling of alfc that is automatic load frequency control so the mathematical modeling of alfc is required to done in order to prepare uh, or design the controller for the agc so now uh, this is this can be easily done by developing the transfer function model for each element of alfc the input to the alfc element are the output power set point that is delta p reference and the change in active power load that is delta p the functional block diagram can be shown like this so here we can see the functional block diagram of automatic load frequency control and the important blocks we are, we can see in the alfc loop here and those are nothing but governor turbine and generator plus load so actually the automatic load frequency control loops function is to maintain the frequency to the nominal value and if there is any deviation in the frequency k2 adjust the input such that this frequency deviation becomes zero so in doing this k okay, we are uh, going to use this alfc loop and with the help of the various blocks shown over here the power system will be able to uh, have the control over this deviation in the frequency so this functional block diagram of alfc we can see here and the block diagram of the governor with the droop is shown in detail in this next figure okay so this is turbine then this is speed sensor and this part we have shown as a governor so to study the mathematical modeling of alfc what we are going to have is we will be studying the mathematical modeling of governor turbine and generator plus loop okay and in all if we join all of them we will get the complete alfc's mathematical modeling so let us see the modeling of these all uh, elements components one by one so first let us discuss the governor model the block diagram of governor with speed droop mechanism is shown in figure 6.17 which we have just seen in the previous slide here the output of speed sensor omega so we can just have a look so here we can see that the output of speed sensor omega is compared with the reference speed omega reference okay so which we can see over here okay so it is done here to produce the speed error delta omega so this delta omega is nothing but the error in the speed produced so we have a reference set point for the output by adjusting this set point on a unit its output can be varied while holding the system frequency close to the standard frequency the error due to difference between actual power output and the reference set point is fed back through the um, speed reg regulator uh, speed regulation r okay so this speed regulation r block we can see over here the error due, due to difference between actual power and the reference set power okay so that we are feeding back using this r r here the transfer function can be obtained and its equivalent figure can be shown like this okay so after obtaining the transfer function of this governor model okay so we can just have the transfer function equivalent diagram for the governor which we are going to refer as this figure 6.18 here which can also be called as model of governor okay so in this we can see that as we discussed in the earlier slide this delta omega s which is the error signal obtained that we are giving as a input to this governor and this is kg is nothing but gain of the governor and this governor will be in turn producing the 
change in the power developed here okay so that change in the power we are comparing with the reference power and through this we are feeding it to the comparator okay and here in this uh, figure b and figure c of 6.18 we can see how mathematical model for this governor can be done open loop mathematical modeling we have done and its equivalent circuit is shown here okay so this is about the modeling of governor then further we will be discussing about the generators model okay so for generators model we will be the, taking the reference of swing equation here if we linearize this swing equation and if we take the speed deviation okay we obtain this equation 6.20 here okay the equation we obtain is this and this equation 6.20 can be written in the block diagram form okay and that block diagram form itself we refer as a model of generator okay so this is the model of generator we can see then further the load model we need to study okay so whatever generator output is there that we are feeding to the load okay and after feeding that to the load if there is any deviation or mismatch of the generated power and required power that through the feedback we are taking here and we are calling that as delta pl change in the load power and change in the uh, mechanical power input to the generator so both that we are adding to this generator this is the 1 upon 2 hs this is the mathematical modeling of the generator and here in this we are showing the mathematical model of generator plus load both where we have added uh, this expression as 1 upon 2 hs plus d okay so here mechanical input to the generator is one input to this comparator and another input is change in the load power okay so taking the feedback from both of these the according to the error generated okay so here generator plus load model will be maintaining the power balance and its output from this block is the deviation in the speed is taken okay so the standard first order model for the generator plus load is given in this figure over here where this kps k is equal to 1 upon d and tps is equal to 2h plus d okay so we can replace this generator plus load model by adding the gain for the generator and at the time constant for the generator we can have the standard first order model of the generator plus load over here now this figure shows the complete alfc model okay so the in the automatic load frequency control we have governor turbine generator plus load so what we saw in the previous slides is the independent components governor turbine and generator plus load we converted them to their mathematical equivalents and if all of them we join here okay this gives us the complete block diagram showing the mathematical model of alfc okay so this is all about the complete mathematical model of alfc from the obtained mathematical model we can now find the transfer function from this block diagram and we can write the expression for delta omega s in the form of various constants constants shown in the block diagram okay and the transfer function of this mathematical modeling can be given by the equation written over here okay so this is the transfer function of automatic load frequency control now let us see what is the automatic generation controller so now in a isolated power system as considered here there is no interchange power to be considered the function of agc is purely to maintain the frequency at the scheduled value this is achieved by adding a proportional integral controller in the feedback path to change the load reference setting depending on the frequency deviation from 
control theory it is known that steady state error of a proportional integrator controller is always zero and by doing so we can we we will be able to maintain a constant frequency in our power system so that is where the importance of proportional integrator controller lies in the power systems operation so now let us see how the arrangement is done for proportional integrator controller okay so we can see it in this figure here so this is the proportional integrator controller added in the alfc okay so here this this part this part shows the addition of proportional integral controller okay and this remaining part is nothing but our conventional alfc automatic load frequency control loop to this we have added this proportional integrator controller and it helps us in maintaining the low value of frequency deviation so adding this block we can just have this new mathematical model for the alfc including proportional integral controller so this is nothing but the mathematical modeling of agc with integral controller in alfc loop already we have seen that there are two parts primary alfc and secondary alfc so now whatever this proportional integrator controller we have shown this supplementary control is there okay so this supplementary control is much slower than the primary speed control action so it comes into effect only after the primary control has stabilized the system frequency the primary control acts on all units with speed regulation whereas agc adjusts the load reference setting in only a few selected unit the output of these unit override the effect of composite frequency regulation characteristics of the system and the process forces the generation of all the units not on agc to the scheduled values okay so that is the importance of this proportional integral controller 